This question can be a little tricky, especially if you don't know what formula you're going to need to use. Now, this is a hidden formula that you might not have come across, but here is the formula that you need to use. And I found this formula from this website right here, so I highly recommend checking out the website. You can just type in De Bruyne Wavelength Hyperphysics and click on one of those links and it'll show you the derivation on how to get this formula right here. So continuing on, we're going to first convert this mega electron volt into joules. So first thing we'll do is we'll convert this into standard units of electron volts. So that's t three times 10 to the six electron volts. And the conversion factor is for every one electron volt, we have 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So when we convert that, we'll get 4.8 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. And this is going to be our kinetic energy right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute in the values for these variables right here. And this is going to give us a momentum of 1.8532 times 10 to the negative 21st kilogram times meters per second. Afterwards, we'll substitute in these values in the de Broglie wavelength formula. And this is going to give us a wavelength of 3.58 times 10 to the negative 13th meters. So this is how you solve the question. I hope that helps.